legendary on the on the bike, man. Yeah. Blood, so, yeah. Bam, I'm I'm thinking equipment and all them thing there, yeah. Mm. Them they, like Patrick G and mm. I think Compass or D like or one of them, they they're there. But they saying what? You're not leaving with that nigga. Da, 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 da. You can't leave with that. So I said, what? You're mad, fam. Man, mm. you think man paid for this stuff here? Mm. Man paid for it. Mm. That's taking what's ours. Mm. Not gonna fool man out. And you talk, and we, and we put big money into booking a venue mm. to do garage fever. Mm. Stood your ground. Paid mm. everybody. You know what I mean? Like we, mm. we, could, not, we didn't have to pay everybody up front mm. because we're just starting our first event. Mm. So everybody on the station just gets to do a show. Mm. And start saying, and whatever money we make, we're gonna give back. Mm. So this was the beginning mm. of garage delight. Like. Mm. Mm. So mm. anyway, so we're arguing now. I've given G man and 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 Matt the look. Mm. You get me like, yo, I know where we are. Mm. Like, come up here naked, basically. Mm. Mm -hmm. Guys, but it looks like it could get a bit rocky. Mm -hmm. or it could get it made. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? So I've given G and Matt the look. The man has just gone kicked out. Mm. You get me? Mm. Um, vum. Mm. <laughs> By the time now, now a brother's come. Yeah, yeah. I ain't mm. gonna call his real name, but his mm. name. Yeah. Mm. Now, at these times, yeah, I'm I'm living Acre Lane, Brixton. Mm. I'm mm. a junction man, but I'm living Brixton. Woo, risky. Right. Mm. So, I'm there, but there's there's a friend of the that lived local. Yeah. Mm. No, 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 no certified you. You get me. Mm. So but you I said there's a sorry, Max. You said there's a friend that that knows certain. Sorry, it just froze a bit. Yeah, there. That knew my father's. That knew my father's partner, a younger guy. Oh, right, right, right. Knew their parents or something like that. Mm. But a certified, you holds his own. You mm -hmm. get me. So much respect for him and the family and everything. All up to this day. Mm -hmm. But nice. he turned up, blood. And when he turned up, he's like, blood, you're not leaving there with nothing. Da -da 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 -da. And I'm looking at brother, you mad? Mm. I'm not leaving there now. What are you talking about? Mm. You know what I mean? So mm. we're going downstairs, blood. Listen, yeah, you're not. So I'm just going on wicked now. I'm just like, mm. I'm firm. Mm. Morgan's there. Mm. The Shaw moves. Mm. Um, Gavin's there. Gavin mm. Beckford. Mm. Shaw Couple Gabby. man's there, blood. Couple man's there. You get mm. me? I think we must have turned up with like two or three cars, mm. a couple of bikes. Yeah. Mm. This time. No hammers, no nothing. Mm. Get me? Yeah? Boom. We're, we're going downstairs now. I've got the equipment. Every man's got equipment. We're walking downstairs at the block. And the mm. tree not they must be just looking on like, whoa, like, what the fuck's going on? Like, mm. you get me? You must be thinking, who are these guys? Because uh, Patrick G and them mm. must be looking like, yeah, yeah, you think you're leaving? All mm. right. They must know what my man's going on with. You get mm. me? The J brother. So anyway, he's come down, we've come down the stairs and he's stepped in front of me. Blood, you're not going nowhere. You get me? This man, mm. you mad. Move out my way, blood. Mm. Blood, man. I heard. That's my story right out, in the hood. My man pulled out the sawn off, blood. Mm. Mm. My man pulled out the sawn off and aided it straight at my chest, blood. I was like, what are you going to do, blood? What are you going to do? What? You got, what? You think you're going to shoot, man, blood? Are you mad? Mm. What are you going to do, blood? Mm. Because I know him, basically. Mm. You mm. get me? Mm. I know him. If it was like a stranger or something, mm. maybe the circumstance would be different. Mm. But the way how we grow in Junction, we've always been like physical use. 100%. Mm. So the, 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 the adrenaline that I had and knowing my man as well, and he's pulled out the thing, I'm like, what are you going to do? Mm. You gonna sh and I've got the things in my hand. Mm. Yeah. So I've looked at the corner of me and I've seen Morgan. You get mm. me? I mm. see more put down the speaker. Slowly creeping in. Had in the and like, ch -ch -ch. Mm. bam, grab the strap. Mm. You get me? Mm. Morgan grab the strap. So mm. the mm. tussling with the um, tussling with Jay and 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 the um and the shot and the shotgun. You get me? Mm. So as we're tussling. Boom! He's kind of no, yeah. My man's grabbed the thing. Morgan's grabbed the thing, and mm. Gavin Beckford's licked my man with mm. the helmet on the head. Mm. Mm. This time, on, Jay Mac is nowhere to be seen yet, you know? <laughs> so, he's, so he's licked my man with the thing on the head, mm. yeah? So we're all scuffling. Mm. Blood. Don't, he's let loose now, turned his back to man, and turned the thing round and let off one. Bam! Bam! We kind of like scattered a bit. 
looked and said, blood, that's blanked. So I don't know what it was. Maybe the shell in the dotty was mm. old old pellets or whatever it was. But mm. man said, bro, that's blanked. Mm. You get me? As the things um, gone off, yeah, Mac and them lots arrived on the bikes. Mm. Mm. And they've just jumped off the bike. The bikes are skidding on the road, blood. Mm. Oh, me, yeah. Road, like, mm. Bikes mm. are skidding on the road. And boom, I'm just seeing, I'm just seeing, I'm, I'm just seeing JD back. Yeah, a man mm. just clapping down the road. You get me? Cap, cap, mm. cap, 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 bam, mm. boom. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Bonfire, man. So he's kicked out down the road. Blood. Man's got into the, man's got into the car. So remember, yeah. Man's rolling. Man's rolling. It's a madness, fam. We're just rolling in Jeep. Mm. My mum's cars, family's cars, and that. And it's like PDS is driving. Fam. You, <laughs> You're not putting G Man's family members in there. PDS's legs were shaking like mad. I'm like, <laughs> blood, start the Shout fucking car, blood. The mm. fuck's going to say, Beds are coming. <laughs> start the pump, but not. Oh, blood. Fam. Hey, <laughs> right, Megs, Megs, hold that foot, yeah? <laughs> Fam, Max, 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 you get me? PDS. <laughs> now, don't get it twisted. Like, man, stood up the car. Mm. Anyway, we skidded out now. You get me? Got away. Mm. I'm getting phone calls from my pups. You mm. get me? Mm. Phones, phones blinging off. Mm. Man's getting, man's trying to get in touch with the radio station, find out what's going on. You get me? Mm. They said you first come round, but there was nothing. Mm. Yeah, you know what I mean? Because a certain man was banging out in bags. You know mm. what I'm saying? Mm. So there weren't really nothing there, but mm. yeah, from like from when that happened now, we kind of knew like, you know what? We've still got this rave going on. Mm. These these nitties that run this house, these guys mm. that run this house has got us something. And these now we can't still shit. Mm. Uh, we've told everybody we run this station now and we, and we ain't got a station to run. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Like, so solid as us guys, we're bringing in a lot of attention on a Sunday. You get mm, me? Mm. Yeah, the hype phone calls are popping off. One of the biggest mm. shows in the station. Mm, so, you know what I mean? uh, we're just about to get into vinyls, white mm. and all that sort of stuff. So, mm. it was popping oxide neutrinos popping. You know what I'm saying? Mm. They was a mm. big kid. It was big kid. It wasn't even oxide neutrino. Mm. Big kid, neutrino, and Billy the kid. Mm. Living legend. Billy the kid is my business partner now. Mm. Shout out Billy, man. Yeah. Yeah, shout out Billy, man. But yeah, it was them. Living yeah, legends. Billy, Billy the kid, living legends, right. Mm, Oxide mm. might have been on the station, but he wasn't mm. with them at that time. Mm. And the reason why, all right, so when all of that happened, me and Carton sitting down, mm. well, I think even Carton and his brother might have been mm. sitting down. You get mm. me? Shout out Sponge. Right, mm. and they said, Ra, let's come up with this new name. Look, we've come up with this name, Mega. Mm. Delight. But mm. they call it Delight FM. Gary mm. Delight. You understand? Mm. Mm. So man said, "Yeah, fuck it, man. Let's call it Garage Delight." You understand? Mm. What I'm so mm. now that brand name shifted from being the mm. yeah, yeah, being like the um, radio stations event to mm. now being something that Carton and his brother, the name Garage Delight, they made up that name. They came mm. up with the Delight name. Mm. Don't so man. bam, Carton's mm. fully in. Yeah, because mm. I know how Carton is. Like we're moving levels of of you know what i mean the high thing you understand mm. <laughs> so i know our cartons in and mm. at the same time get rich they was on baseline fm so it was like Shout get rich. Like it was like a no-brainer to kind of like raw let's let's get this thing cracking get rich mm -hmm. in the hip-hop r&b dj yeah we're mm -hmm. getting big in the garage raw knock heads so garage they like starts 1999 mm. so we're on supreme fm maybe for just under a year mm. the reason why 
Supreme FM handled us the way we was because we used to go up there with champagne every Sunday. Mm. You know what I mean? And mm. then straight after the radio station, you know what I mean? We used to just go and have our little meetings or whatever, you get me? Mm -hmm. At the old school office. Mm -hmm. The old school office, one or like, that's when I know like we're starting to make some money. Anyway, so the mm -hmm. FM, Bad boy office as well. So we're figuring out how to do Delight FM and, mm. and we're kind of like studying like, right, what blocks can we mm. go on? So mm. I've got access to Sport Court because mm. my Auntie Joanne used to live on the 11th mm. floor. Mm. Yeah. So, Auntie Sport Joanne. Court, so we can mm. get into the block any time, but we have to find the skeleton keys. So mm. anyway, man, broke into the block, found the skeleton keys, gone upstairs, figuring out a way like, right, how does this work? You get me? We're getting it wrong. Mm. At the beginning, the radio station <laughs> airways is shit. Maybe just reaching down the road. You know what I mean, ain't the wrong. And I think um, it was a yard, Damo's block. You see where Damo used to live. I can't mm -hmm. the name of that block. My mum used to live in that block. Is it Shoko? I think Shoko. Shoko. Yeah, Shoko. Yeah, sure. One of them. Something mm. like that. Mm. Yeah, but um, I used to live in that block mm. when mum was young. That I think mm. that one of the flats. Me and my me and my brother Swiss, and then she moved from there. Mm. Yeah, in that block, Delight FM is running. Garage Delight, like the first Garage Delight is at, is at um, Cloud, um, Cloud Nine. Cloud Nine, so, Voxel. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's that's when we done that. Then we done Couple in Channel Club. And mm. then we do, uh, I make someone's asked an important question. How old was you? How old was you at this time? How old was you, Meg, at this time? How old was I? Mm. I was like 18, 19 at that time. All right, cool. Mm -hmm. 98, 99. Mad young. Yeah. Mad young. Mm -hmm. 18, 19. So like, all, and, and all the stuff before that were just were straight teenagers. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. all the mm -hmm. raves, the little mm -hmm. squabbles that we had with different areas at venues, like mm -hmm. going to like Labrook Grove, going to Tudor Rose. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Doing events in Emerald Center. You understand mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Doing events mm -hmm. in Grove, doing events in all the community centers in Man's Ends. Doing a mm. two in hub community center. Mm. Event mm. Shout out two in hub. Garrett, mm. Garrett Lane done an event in Garrett Lane. Done an event in mm. the one, it, um, the Arndale Center. So we done mm. events all the time mm. as teenagers. You get me putting on mm. events two pound fifty, five pound after a certain time. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So anyway, so we kind of knew all of that. Garage delights popping now. You get me. So so is popping. Vinyl mm. tapped mm. us on the shoulder. Called essential distributions now. Sarah, mm, Shire Essential. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Sarah, who worked for Essential Distributions, then went on to work with EMI Publishing. Mm -hmm. Then she might have done a couple other ventures. Then she ended up running Rinse FM. Mm -hmm. I think now she's back with Guy. I think they're up at Warner. Mm -hmm. I think that's where they are now. But Sarah was um, interested in convincing a distribution company that we were the next underground act to kind of help distribute their stuff to more stores. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was getting headache for me and G running around to these stores. And mm. So, look, now, the mindset of it, of it all is that when G-Man finished doing the radio, the um, the vinyls with me, 7 o'clock, G-Man can go and do his hustle, mm. do his stuff. Me, mm. back the radio station. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. Yeah. When radio stations, um, radio station never really finishes. I'm doing mm. promotion as well. I'm, Sacrifice, I'm see? you know. Mm. What I mean? I'm the MC. I'm the producer. Mm. So, yeah, I'm the promoter, yeah, little, so when people could lock off, when other men stopped MCing and went home, I had You're to carry on. I had to carry on and do the other stuff. When other people went home, I had mm. to carry on and do the other stuff. You know what I mean? So let me ask you something, Megs. How, did you ever have moments where you was like? I just want to go and do the hustle. This is long. Whether it's a headache from someone or finance. You know what it is? Like, this was my lane, bro. Like, I knew the hustle was cool, but I didn't like the feeling of the hustle. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? And weed was the only thing that I, I was ramping with because my dad's a raster. Mm. I, I dabbled with other stuff, but it wasn't really my sort of thing to mm -hmm. sell to people. I didn't even like the people I was selling to. Mm -hmm. I get that fully. So mm -hmm. It was more of a thing where I just stuck with that because you're going to everybody's yard that you know. Mm -hmm. you know personally, mums, dad, cousins, whoever. And they all smoke weed. You get mm -hmm. me? That was the safest thing to really, as respect, mm -hmm. more 
rose to my father and his culture and that. Mm. That nice. was his thing, you know what I mean? So just me looking at my dad had companies, my uncle had companies, you get me? And me looking at certain things, I was like, you know what, like, we've got an opportunity to make money or something that ain't going to get my nicked. Mm. Ain't going to get my nicked. You know what I mean? Mm. Like, mm. Remember, most everybody in South London in those times, we were bad from the age of nine right up mm. to the age of 19, right up to the age of 16. Mm. You see, when, when we reached 16, everybody went jail. Mm. 100%. Between 15 to 16, whoever was bad in South London or whatever, they locked up every single one of us. And we Listen, I... You I see, wasted my early we teenagers visiting man in jail. Right, so the first <laughs> time we went to jail, there's no TV. You have to tidy up your room to get association. Mm. You know what I mean? They used to score point your room and wipe underneath tables. And if there was mm. any dust, you ain't even going to get a phone call. Mm. The radio was like a little Walkman type radio thing. And you could mm. just about lock onto the radio. Where Burton you was ram at this time, so, right, Max? It was jam at this time. So after those experiences, there's enough men that come out and said, hold up. Man's brethren, we're bad, but we're intelligent as well. Mm. Certain man know how to produce, certain man know how to do computers, certain man know how to do football, certain man know how to do... So we're all in the badness, but we're talented too. <laughs> Woo! You understand what I'm saying? Mm. Everybody, man know how to do raves, man know how to cut dub plates, clash, and man mm -hmm. know how to do blood. Jason and um, um, Sean Emmanuel. Mm -hmm. yeah, clothing designer, clothing designer. Mm -hmm. Bad boy designer. You get me? Taylor make things from his yard and mm -hmm. put bleach on the clothes and mm -hmm. man had bleach style mm -hmm. and so barbers blood. It was mad. It was mm -hmm. mad. Mm -hmm. Our elders had shops. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So we looked on certain mm -hmm. things and our area was like that. Mm -hmm. so anyway, after jail, I just kind of knew that. Let me start utilizing certain people who I know. That mm. worked directly junction boys or whatever, mm. but had something. And mm. if they want to get involved, mm. yeah, and if they want to get involved, let's just keep this movement going. This time, certain of my ones like Gappy Dean and them lot mm. are going to jail. Mm. Yeah. Shout out Gappy. Yeah, mm. the beginning of the process. You so understand? let me ask you something, Megs, right? So when you was recruiting people based on the skill set, were they already in based on your vision, or did you have to like fund them or were they already like, nah, Megs, I see your vision, I'm in. No, it was like, it was like one big family, one big meeting point, brothers, cousins, we was all DJs, Dan the Man was already a DJ, Swiss mm. was learning to be a DJ in his yard, you know what I mean, coming from the two like two young team, everybody had something going on, so between me, came to like, creating So Solid, what happened is that a lot of the men then were making songs. You get mm. a lot of the men were making songs. So, so as the men is make, making songs and we're saying what you rep so solid, everyone's repping so solid. It's like whoever gets through the door first, yeah, mm. will most probably break the thing through. Remember, me and G Man are doing the white labels for everyone. So mm. we're kind of like channeling. If one of these blow, mm. right now there's like twenty bags to make seventy off of white labels. You understand what I'm saying? Mm. The raves that we had to put on mm. times cost like 15 grand, 10 for pay. You had to pay for to I mean, you could, there was, mm. there wasn't no online, just set up a, you know what I mean? There was no online, you have to set up a, a little Facebook thing and do it of no money. You had to have money, blood. You had mm. to, blood. So understand mm. us as teenagers linking up with each other. We're throwing thousands, stations, mm. events, mm. finals, all of that sort of stuff. Mm. And mm. God, mm. I mean, look, us Junction boys, we've always been like a little bit ahead of ourselves. You get me? But we mm -hmm. were travelers, like, mm. you get me? We went to every end. So when Garage Delight mm. was popping off, we done a Garage Delight in West London, the Palais, we're teenagers, bro. Mm. Mm. We done Garage Delight in Temple, Tottenham. Mm. Mm. You know what I mean? We done mm. a garage delight in Stratford Rex. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. We booked out Bagley's. Mm. Like we done Lefez in Peckham. Mm. You know what mm. I'm saying? Like we done mm. events everywhere. Brixton, mm. I've done Brixton massive. So us as young youths, we didn't we didn't hear or, 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 or understand what was going on with all these bad boys in other areas. 
mm. we just saw the opportunity and said, well, 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 we've got money here, we're going there, do it, and we set up, you know what I mean? Mm. Put on the events. So just before so then, we were signed, mm. yeah, on top of like the vinyls going out, Sierra Essential Distribution, the radio station, the Garage Delight events, we've got EZ, mm. you know what I mean? We're booking the big guys, there's a lot mm. of noise. Mm. So we were in that space of 24 months, yeah? Mm. That's that's just before we got into the business. It took us twenty four months to get to get signed. So so, so so let me say something, Meg. So like at this point now, you like are taking risks. You we got Carton. I see uh, Carton just jumped on. I think it's it's Carton. So you lot were going to yeah. different areas and, and and placing the. We used to go with flies. Bloody remember, yeah, we're young. And we had to fly a raise, even though we was in issues with certain people. You know, people mm. would see my Byron outside, Coliseum, Bagley's, Temple. You get me? After we used to go clubbing and that, and throw man's flyers on the floor. You know what I mean? They used to look at me like the flyer boy. Enough bad boys or enough certified gal used to walk past me drunk off their face. Not even mm. take a flyer. Man, like, eh? Move, man. Mm. You know what I mean? Certain gal of their face. Absolutely like, for that, that blood. People don't understand you, yeah, how flyer boys and flyer people used to get treated, blood. That was a bad Listen, but, but I, I remember coming be, out of the rave and seeing them. Okay, okay. I, Leave me alone, man. Because that could be a rave that I could get into. That could, could be a club that I could utilise. So I had to kind of like... Love that mind frame. Just, just grip my teeth and be like, fool the cars, blood, you know. How much people drop? Who is that? You understand what I'm saying, mm. bro? Mm. So we done mm. that in every area while we were coming up as teenagers, doing all these events, mm. working out, making maybe 25k an event, 30k an event. Mm. You know what I mean? Ramming out the shows, the Palais, Temple, mm. everywhere. And then we took Garage Delight to Birmingham. Mm. We took it to Luton. Mm. We took it to Manchester. Mm. And we took it to Milton Keynes. Mm. I mean, so we're teenagers. Area Watford. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Area Watford. This is before we signed. This is before mm. 2000. Just at maybe the end of, the middle of 99 is when Soul is maybe just about getting signed. But look, we, we've done, so the summer, we cleaned up. You get me? Put that on tour. It's our first time in Ayanapa, maybe our first time in Ayanapa Gas Club. So we're just kind of cleaning mm. up though, as young teenagers. So look, a lot of a lot of money to blow. What you know? What what, what 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 most people don't understand, right? At this point, we're not even talking twenty one, or they don't know what the album. We're talking still on an eighteen, nineteen, and building a business of promotion, club nights, promotion, radio station, and then being artists and bringing on producers and artists. Like yeah, remember G man, G man, cut and they're just money man. You know straight I mean? early and look, you see like. Today, most people in their end see a talent, see a man rapping, and say, "Blood, come, I can help you." Mm. When I looked in my ends, I didn't see my bridges rapping and say, "I can help you." Mm. I said, mm. "Yo, you got something? I think you should rap." Mm. Face, you got something? I mm. think that's that tune. And he's hard. Uh, Who would have yeah. thought Ghost, aka Face, would have been? You a understand what I'm saying? Like, when G-Man called me for Lisa, Lisa was working. G-Man was a hustler, so. Mm -hmm. G-Man hustling, Lisa maybe didn't have to work. So Lisa's basically getting a little bit sport at this time where mm -hmm. her previous relationships and situations was, you know what I mean, wasn't really in with her properly as a woman. You understand what I'm saying? And G-Man came mm -hmm. and G-Man was like, mm -hmm. in love. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. G-Man mm -hmm. mm -hmm. had more cars and jewellery than, mm -hmm. than all of us, but G-Man mm -hmm. didn't write a song. I remember <laughs> you know his what he had a horse he, he didn't write, early. He didn't produce, you know what I mean? Mm. So, but G-Man had, had, had the more, but G-Man had to take care of money. Mm. So even when Lisa got called to come into studio, Lisa wasn't like making songs. Like, we have mm. a singer, call Lisa. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. to, my, to my knowledge, Lisa mm. might, Lisa's from Loughborough Brixton. So mm. Lisa might have an experience where she says, look, Megs, I used to sing here mm. and there, or I made a song here and here. Mm. Yes, but to my knowledge, she was mm. like, like my, my babe mother's friend. Yeah, mm, mm, mm. and bam, mm. I need a gal on this tune. Mm. So, so most of the crew members, they weren't. We didn't see them as producers. Well, come, you're under my wing. 
Yo, mm. your rapper, come, you're under my wig. Yo, your mm. singer, come, you're mm. under. It weren't really like that, blood. You mm. know what I mean? We just mm. little things in people, and as they came on board, it was after we got the album deal, yeah, mm. there was a couple other members like a Tigeress, a mm. Fug Angel, mm -hmm. a Twins, Shout a Fug Tiger. Twins, mm. Twins, the girls, JD, you know what I mean? A um, couple other people, like, mm. you know, Keish, who was mm. a singer, your brother Seth, mm. who was a singer, who he said, well, we got to make songs now. Like, mm -hmm. I mean, look, we got we got to finish off these songs now. Now, at the time when me and G Man's doing the white label thing, everyone's making beats. Mm. So by the time Mega gets the deal now, everyone wants to put vocals, but vocals on those beats. <laughs> Get me? <laughs> but we're through the door. The brand mm. through the door. Mm. Yeah. How much mm. more people can we get through the door? Mm. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. Mm. I tell you what, so me when me and Albert were sitting down, Albert right, so looking at... Stop there for a minute. Albert, guys, yeah. is uh, uh, a, 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 a veteran in the music business, right? Who Mega had come across. Megs, correct me if I'm wrong, but Mega, he saw Mega, what Mega was doing, uh, and the soul so the I came across doing. Albert because of um, Oxide and Neutrino. Neutrino, right. Oxide and Neutrino got their deal because like, they used Casualty, that sample team. So when they were selling white labels and doing tens of thousands, essential distributions might, might have been one of the dis distributors that took it on as well. Bam, it, it ring the alarms in the corporate world because who's these guys using our sample? Mm. Instead of, like I said before, instead of penalising these youths, it's like, well... Mm. And Casualty was a big TV show back then, Kajui guys. It was a big TV show, so it, mm. it done its numbers, man. It, it done its numbers and they were through the door. It was a number that one? Was, that was my first experience of a real video shoot. Mm. Assigned artists in a real video shoot. Mm. My first experience of meeting Albert. Mm. You know what I mean? And just looking around and seeing like raw. And if you look in that video, you mm. see E Man, you see Carton, you see BDS. Mm -hmm. you, see, you know what I mean? You see all of us are there. Mm -hmm. you get me? All of us are in the video. That fam, was, let me I tell you something. Was... That was mad for me as well, you know, bro. Because at this point, fam, I know the man. Them. I'm not directly part of Soul Solid Crew as a brand or, or yeah. anything, but I know the man. Them. So me sitting down, seeing Carton, seeing you, seeing G-Man, seeing PDS, in that video, bro, my head was spinning like 100 miles per hour. Like, I was like, yo. And this time, I didn't know Neutrino because Neutrino's originally from Brixton. And I was like, what's going on it? This is nuts. <laughs> is that a cushion pen? Damn. Megs, you still there? <laughs> Maybe I just slid back, talked it, and just come back like, "Yo, what's good?" But yeah, fam, that that, that video there casually, <coughs> casually changed everything for me as well, fam. That was my first time. I I believe what everyone else's experience was right. When I heard people say to me, "When I saw Oh No," when I saw Twenty One Seconds, I looked at the screen and said, "Bro, I can do it." My moment was casually. So so anyway, carry on, please. <coughs> No, take your time. And Albert Samuels, guys, right? I'll give you a little backstory. Albert Samuels, again, <coughs> is like a legendary vet in the music business who Mega had met via Oxide Neutrino and having them within the circle um, and a very instrumental part in the business as well. Do you know what I mean? You know what it is? Try don't smoke in public, yeah? Mm. I like smoking at home, you get me? Yeah, you've always been like that. Now, <laughs> Mega's always yeah. been like that, boy. Not yeah. one to be out there and billing it on road and that. Yeah, Never. people build up on road and in clubs. And I, don't, I don't really do that. You know? I mean, you've always been like that way. <laughs> I remember, sorry, I just want to tell you. Pull, but I took the pull of the thing, yeah, and it just lit the back of my throat and I was like, rah, you know what I'm saying? Yo, I, I just want to say something. So where was we? Where was we? Yeah, no, wait there. I just want to just say, it's being as youths, when we used to bun zoots, man used to be drawing it quick in that. Mega used to let sit in the ashtray that the, like, he learned from the oh. real Russes, like, bam, let that sit, man. What's man D? <laughs> see, you see, smoking, smoking's a medi, bro. Yeah, 100%, fam. It's not fam. abused, like, 100%, like, fam. It's not a social thing. Man, a lot of people are disrespecting it. You know what I mean? Mm. So, mm. more time when I smoke, I'm, mm. really, I'm shitting in my yard, you get me? I just wanted to share that. But, but, sorry, Max, carry on now. So, casually, Albert. Albert Samuels. It's the first time me, 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 meeting Albert, Mm. But on the um, Oxide Neutrino video shoot, mm. and I just felt, let me go and sit down and speak with this guy to see if he can 
do something for me as well. So I asked Neutrino, must have asked Neutrino, look, mm. hook me up with Albert, let me see what's good, and I'll sit down with him. Yeah. Mm. Shout out Neutrino as well, man. One of my favourite MCs, artists. My man sounds so, just as good live as he does on the so Yeah, I, I, went, I went and spoke with Albert, and Albert was like, I don't see it. Mm. Good song, but I don't think I can do anything with this. Now, this is oh no. This is oh no. Now, mm. me understanding that, I've looked back now and I said, Albert dealt with a lot of commercial artists. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Or, uh, banana ramas. Yeah, yeah. legendary. He, mm. You understand what I'm saying? Like, he didn't really see it coming. Mm. He didn't see what was happening in the underground. South London. Oxford and Neutrino come across his radar somehow. Mm. Mm. They come across his radar somehow mm. because of that sample. Mm. So he didn't see it. You know what I mean? So after a while now, the tune's still buzzing. Maybe a couple months down the line, blood. Mm. He's still buzzing. He calls me back. Mm. You know what I mean? Um, would you like to come in? Boom, 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 boom. Megs, let, let me slow you down right there, though. When we're yeah. as well, Mark, um, certain radios and DJ stations are... To, back then, we're talking about, like, you lot are still promoting it off. And I say you lot with all respect, because we're at that time. Yeah. Um, you lot promoting it off the light FM, your own radio station, which, own is, radio then, station. which yeah. is then transcending across the country, right? So which everyone gets that in your mind. The whole of London mm. and maybe peeking out to little small parts out of London. Mm. But we know certain parts of London, the tower block that we was on is a nice stretch. Mm. You know what I mean, mm. there's no radio station in Battersea at that time mm. to get to that, that could compete with us. Mm. And just felt the attention was on us. Upfront mm. was the biggest station. Mm. Taste was big as well. You know what mm. I mean? Mm. And then there was Freak FM and Deja Vu across the water. But this side, the Light FM, yeah. Mm. Like pushing our own events. And mm. maybe it was the first MCs, DJs, crew running their station, mm. running their own garage events, running their own white labels. And mm. labels. You mm. know what I mean? my knowledge mm, you know what I'm mm. I didn't know any other crew that has come up I don't know whether they owned the radio station that they were mm. MC I'm with you I don't think they did either I, I'm, I'm with you bro yeah. mm -hmm. I know they done their own white labels I don't even know whether they done their own events brand mm. Like, mm. They set up a brand to stand against La Cosa Nostra and mm. Garage Nation and you know Sun Cities and mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying like we, we ain't as mag magnitude as those brands today. So, so when, they, when people see Garage Delight, they know mm. that is a credible UK mm. garage mm. race brand. And you know what, Megs? I'm going to pause you again, right? Because what people don't understand, a lot of these promotional companies that Megs is mentioning, right, were like a lot of the MCs. They were there before Megs, yeah. Carton, yeah. Mac, yeah. and all these other... Uh, not all these others, man. So I, I apologise. But like PBS all the rest of the crew because yeah. these guys are like they were there like a year garage. or two they yeah. were like a year or two maybe three years just before because garage is that would that's garage is early them times as well right you know what i mean so, garage might have started like 95 you know what i mean 94 is maybe a little bit earlier who knows you know what i mean and you you know what kids to them like on a promotional level and as as an age as well as an and experience in being mcs because they've already been doing it. I remember hearing those stories. You like to go in there and look at certain D, uh, MCs, big them up as well. I don't want to mention no names. Yeah, the way how we used to, like, when the Light FM was popping and we had our own raves, and then we just used to go to other raves, like Exposure. Man mm. Manuel never wanted to book us. Mm. And La Cosa Nostra never wanted to book us. Mm. So when we used to go to those raves and the DJs used to play our song, all the bad boys would be in one corner and push man to go on the mic. Mm. Because they know that man's big. So mm. we, we certain bad boys used to maybe just, yo, give him the mic. You get me? Woo! Love that. Or, or we would go up and be like, mm. yo, pass that mic quickly. That's my that's my beat. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, right, that's my beat, blood. Pass mm. the mic quickly. You get Wait me? There. So what were they playing the man them's like dilemma or what, what when they play like oh no, a dilemma, mm. a why, 
You mm. know what I mean? A wall. When they're playing those beats, because mm. we used to give them to certain DJs. Mm. So when we're in the club, we used to let Martin Lana know, blood, we're in the club. Mm. You know, we're Shout out Martin Lana, man. You get me? Mm. So there was a certain time enough in the dance where all the bad boys would be like, I need to start playing some proper bad boy garage. You get me? Mm. Instead of the, mm. cause there, there was a time in those raves, there would be a section where they play the nice music. Mm. Get me? The Room two. Beat. You know what I mean? You might get a <laughs> Jam Lamont on. You might get a yeah. nice rough cut. You might get a, yeah. You know what I mean? Norris the boss. And boss, they play yeah. Ramsey and Fenn. They mm. play nicer garage. They play like the original. Vocals. Mm -hmm. They play the original garage. Musical mm -hmm. garage. They play mm -hmm. that sort of sound. So when those DJs came on, well, separate, but when EZ, Martin Lana, Master Steps, certain other bad DJs, like our tunes would come on. That's mm. when our beats would be played. Dilemma so still to this played, day. The man then will go mad and be like, "Rah, go and touch the mic and that mm. beer junction, man. Bird Brixton, man. Mm. Get mm. I love that, West, man. man. Mm. Nas used to come over from East or Asia, Nas. You get me? Yeah, yeah, I remember come Nas, from man. East, so mm. Enough man would be in the one rave, whether it was Liberty, whether it was twice mm. as nice. Mm. Exposure, Garage Nation. And mm. Tell man, touch the mic. When we touch the mic, mm. it was like explosion, blood. You get me? Mm. So those that, those could be one of the pinpoints as to when I said, Rob, we've got to start laying vocals on this stuff because the tunes mm. we gave to the DJs to test out, mm. madding up the rave when we when we when we put the vocals on it. You know what mm. I mean? Mm. So, yeah, that was the whole vibe. Now remember, like I came out of jail in 2017, October. Mm. Yeah. So 2017, 2018, 1999. Mm. Yeah. 1999 was signed just after summer. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? Amazing. So just after the summer. So. so how did that conversation go as well? All right, so boom, I just want to pinpoint a few things about what Mega's been talking about, right? Mega's been talking about he talk, him and the crew taking risks, calculated risks as well, um, running it on radio station, running it on a record label, doing white labels, which would have been equivalent of what m most people would be looking at as mixtapes, and selling CDs, but that was the white labels back then, using people, finding out their qualities and, and their set skills. And those people, in, 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 them themselves, believing in Mega's vision, because I, I know today there's a lot of people that want to be, everyone wants to be in that chair, no one wants to be the, the, the guy look, with the hammer, the guy with the spanner. At, or... If you look at most of the flyers, it says, So Solid Promotions. Mm. So it's got So Solid in the logo, and it says Promotions. Mm. When we had all the visit, it was like so solid artists. Mm. When we had the white labels and we put the label on it, it was so solid beats. Mm. I mean, the crew came into it like more so when we went into the, the, the label. Mm. We called mm. ourselves so solid crew as MCs, mm. but we didn't, if you look on flyers, there was no logo for so solid crew. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So we got into that commercial. Mm. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm. And, and and let me ask something as well, Megs, right? Commercial, going commercial, right? The Light FM days and yeah. with the raves and that. Was going commercial like, yeah, we need to have a top 10. You need to have a top five. Was that something in your we, the, it, vocabulary? It like, bro, honestly, I can't really think how... But I, I can't, I, could, I couldn't have even imagined the the environments and the level hundred percent we would have been involved in we just felt mm. that if you're signed you're big and mm. you're going to get put out big and you're going mm. to get spent some proper money on that's mm. all we thought when we were signed you know mm. what I mean? like before signing it was just about turning over the money because we need to create something different from what we're doing on the streets you know mm. what I, mean? mm. I don't want my brethren selling what they're selling for too long mm. love that me? Mm. Yeah. And that's and that's basically what it was. And if we can involve each other in building each other to, you know what I mean? Enough man didn't know how to promote. Mm. But Mega had a little know-how. A, <laughs> a, a couple man had a little money. Mm -hmm. Man mm. didn't know how to make beats and do white labels. Mega had a little know-how. A couple man had a little money. Let's do it. Mm. You know what I mean? Mega fell into Supreme FM because of PDS and that and got mm. off to run the station. You know mm. what I mean? They bandoozled, man. We had a little mm. know-how. The Light FM was born. You know mm. what I'm saying? So it's like every so often, the man them around, man, had a different skill set and a different quality and a mm. different level of access to whether it was 
buy a nets, whether it was a yard, whether it was, mm. whether it was whatever. And we just utilised our brethren properly. Hundred. This to the same man then in the ends injunction today, like mm. not 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 a lot of the man them today in different areas are utilising their brethren's qualities for the right. Hundred mm. percent. Right Get me. Hundred percent. If all of your brethren don't bang out, you're not my brethren. Mm. Some of your brethren need to be the computer wizards. Mm. Like, they never yeah. Bang. yeah. They don't need to be need bad to boys. Be, yeah. Like if man them really want to be road guys and drug connoisseurs or whatever or hitmen mm. or whatever blood mm. go off and do that all wrong you know mm. what I'm saying mm. like if we really want to do or just stop playing with that life mm. for whatever stature and let's get busy as black mm. people start mm. you know what I mean as culture mm. people to start moving mm. forward mm. Because it makes if, you're not gonna, if you're not going to do that game serious don't play with it at all mm. There's, mm. there's no youths out there that are doing the drug game that are investing in their communities giving out mm. turkeys in, in Christmas you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Putting mm -hmm. on events in their Ross Clark Park and actually man them that are in the drug game funding it. Mm -hmm. You get me? Man mm -hmm. them in the drug game in the ends, they're not funding the stores, they're not funding the shops, they're not funding certain things in their ends. You know what I'm saying? Do you know what? I believe as well, Major, a lot of men are moving selfish because a lot of people want to be that guy. Like, if I'm doing it, I'm going to own the business. I'm going to, like, already we're talking about building a, a business and an empire where everyone played their position. No one wanted to be the mega. No one wanted to be the G. No one wanted to be Carl. No one wanted to be Shabs. No one wanted to be... Everyone's like, I'm, see, I no am who I am. No I want to no be one, the best. You see, like, just setting it up, yeah, like, speaking to my peoples and saying, look, we're going to do a business and do an office. Mm. At that point, G-Man had more money. Carton had more money. Mm. I didn't have as much money as them. Carton's always had and, that money. They weren't in. They weren't in. They weren't involved. Mm, mm. Said, like, like we don't know. Like, I don't, mm. I don't really know that area. Company mm. and account and office and mm. things. You know what I mean? Mm. So my uncle, um, Junior, this mm. is the office in Wandsworth, not the one mm. in the mm. for me. I hired some computers upstairs from a woman called Jenny. Mm. Came down, delivered the computers. Bam. Mm. Set up fax machine there. So, mm. So as we're popping, after I've, I've had a meeting with Albert, come back, Arista's called the office. Mm. It's one old office. So this little office I've set up. Mm. At the office. back of Southside. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's like workshops in there. But I had mm -hmm. office, Chronic, Chronic was in there. Get, get Rich was there. at the back, tucked in some get little came in that back. But they came in a little bit after. After man mm -hmm. saw that it was something running and a mm -hmm. place where we can go to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, every man started coming so in. So, go on now. You got the call from Arista at the office. So, I got a call from Arista. The guy from Arista came in. They sent through the fax. It was like a 20K, mm. 20K offer. Single so deal I, or album deal at the time? Single deal. Single. Mm -hmm. And this is for Ono? Oh That's for Ono. Oh two mm -hmm. singles. I kind of said, look, we're making this money, bro. Mm. I, I, I don't think the labels understood. Like, mm. The white labels, the race. What's going on? Money being so like, made. I didn't tell Albert much mm. at the time. Mm. When Albert's come back to me, mm. I said, "Yeah, you look a fucker." <laughs> in the back of my head. <laughs> like, right, let me ask you something. Yeah? yeah, did you not tell him on purpose because you wanted a genuine uh, involvement from like, him versus like you're going to take what I already youth, built? Yeah, as a young black youth, those times, yeah. What our culture was seeing on TV, yeah, mm. you would have your back up in all environments. Mm, what? You know what I mean? Mm. There was a certain attitude and a certain little you're slouching the office because you know like that they're handling your people a certain way. Anyway. Way right. So with me, I just went in there as a, as is. Mm. You know what I mean? I might mm. smoke a weed. I might. I didn't really care, blood. Right. Mm. Now, that time as teenagers, blood. I don't think they understood how much money was making. So Arista was like twenty bags. Mm. They're turning over thirty bags, twenty five bags per event. Per event. White labels are. Doing Doing ten thousand each, easy per per easy, tune per track. Mm. Mm. The minimum we sell is maybe two hundred and fifty thousand of the worst, mm. two thousand five hundred of the worst one. Mm. But mm. all the woes and the dilemmas and all mm. of that, mm. they were licking fifteen thousands, black. And that's like it's a three pound profit per record, right? Three four pound. Yeah, three times, four like... pound profit. You know what I mean? You mm. times that by 20,000. That's a mark up and a half. Mm -hmm. Raised Gone. back then for £15 to get in. There wasn't no £8 um, early bird tickets. Mm. There wasn't no £10 um, second release. There wasn't <laughs> none of that shit. Yeah? Yes, it was £15. 
Mm. It might be you, you might you might some raves might have done a ten pound, but it was like fifteen pound, twenty five pound, forty pound mm. on the door. Mm. 50 pounds on the door certain times. Mm. You and champagne bottles were flying. Champagne bottles were flying. So, like, that's the, that's the sort of um, money we were mm -hmm. So, when I went back to Albert and he said, look, this, I think this label's interested in Rare Tear Tear, I was like, how much they offer him? Because right now, I've got an offer from Arista. Mm. Get me? Boom, boom, boom. Mm. Now, a lot of people don't know that in this business, the managers use the last offer to go and get a higher offer somewhere else. Right. Yeah? They right. use people's music to go make a better song somewhere else. Right. <laughs> if they can't take that artist, if they can't do something with that artist, you find their artist doing a certain style or doing mm. a certain... Try and get in that lane. Mm. Try and get in that lane. You understand mm. what I'm saying? 100%. Happened. But in, in the sense of what, what um, I was looking at with Albert is that we're making serious money. You get me? There's like 50, 100 bags spinning mm. every year between us, man, then. Mm. Just off the raves. Mm. Forget weed. Forget other thing. Just mm. off the raves, white labels, or whatever. Mm. You get me? Hold up. The conversation you're having is, we're a business. We're not, a, we're not just Right, so I've opened up to Albert now. I've got my office, you know. Mm. This is a workshop. I know it's nothing like Albert's office. I've got my office doing white labels, or doing 10,000s, you know. I've just come back from Iron Park. Boom, boom, boom. You know, Rome, like we've got Gary's Romy, like going on. Romy's got the, like, you and Romy got the MR2s. Romy got the O no at the back. Right. Like, got the MR2. What? Remember, like, Appy them times there. Yeah, R.I.P. Was like a money man them times. And I what? bought my first bus down with Appy mm. for five bags. Mm. Yeah, these rollies with, with, like, crushed diamonds in it. Iced out after mm. they bought the roll. R.I.P. Appy. R.I.P. R.I.P. Eddie. Bear man had bust downs. You understand know what I'm mm. saying? Bear man had bust downs. So I got bust down, little MR2, bumping mm. Jay Z. You get me? So you know what's going on Jay Z. So listen, fam. So Jay Z mm. coming up with this new slang all the time. Man. I'm going to cut in a reason why we stopped doing stupidness like that. And it's not stupidness today, mm. but we stopped it back then. When mm. Jay Z said, Those ain't Rolex diamonds, what the fuck what you think? Mm. Rapping ass niggas, yeah. How funny to me. Mm. Some records being you, but still, you want to be me. Mm. Bam. What happened? Bust down. Man said, <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the first person Meg saw. Hey, fam. Hey, hold that, man. Blood. Man said, oh, did you double yeah. it? Did you double your price or did you yeah, like give you it? Bam, bust downs. Anything you bought from Hattons or you bought from Mandem <laughs> that wasn't its original, those ain't real. Half of the men's bust downs, none of them are Rolex diamonds otherwise. They would be mm. hundreds and thousands of pounds, you know what I mean? 100%. But a man can buy them for like 10 bags, mm. they sit out for a couple of grand, mm. you know what I mean? And do that stupidness like that, appreciate the, the, the jewel. Mm. But when Jay-Z said that, enough man on road in South <laughs> just got rid of their diamonds, got rid of their eyes <laughs> watching, and just started wearing the proper ones. Yeah. The stainless steels, right. just about 18 gays as well, man. Like, mm. man was up standard man had two doors, a mm. couple men had normal rollies, you know what mm. I mean? Mm. I got into So Solid, I started buying Jacobs, I didn't want no bust downs. And, mm. and bust downs were selling, bro. Don't get mm. Mm. But mm. because it wasn't the authentic thing, mm. to, everyone was like, blood, mm. right now, fam. Mm. You know what I mean? You'll mm. be a little bit straight. Mm. Anyway, so like, man, they were ahead of the game, man. Man, they... yes, that was the time. Versace, Grand Versace mm. shirts. Mm. Man had the AEK. Man was mad. Yuck. Head to toe, Patrick Cox. You know mm. what I mean? Everybody what was designable. Out, the UK mm. was designable that like, way before Americans. You get me? Mm -hmm. Easy. But something was happening on TV. Mm. It, it, it did. It didn't resemble. And even if, as an artist, you went on TV and you dressed like that, yeah, before certain before the world and a, a group of people captured to it, you kind of stood out. You get mm. me? You kind of stood out, man. You know what I mean? So the UK wasn't really ready for the glamorous extrovert vert side of like mm. seeing black kids on TV. Mm. You get me? So we had to introduce it more of a character-like. Mm. You know what I mean? 100%. We had to introduce it character-like because like the lifestyle of money makers in the UK, yeah, we used to go to raves. Mm. We didn't do the bougie West End, higher out tables, bare bad man on the table. Oh, all the some standing on the sofa. 
Standing on the sofa. Standing on the sofas to the tune behind bars. There wasn't no... Hey, I can't stand that. Wasn't no, there wasn't nothing shielding you from the mm. next man. Mm. There wasn't... There, all right, maybe there was a VIP section in one or two events. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Oh, that, that started to happen after a while. Mm. Majority mm. of the times, everyone's in the same part. Mm. So, and can I, can I just add, everyone's in the same part. There's more tools than that to go to a war. Yeah, everyone, Germany, everybody, majority of the people are rat. No one's, <laughs> no Wait, one's growing up. And to tell the truth, even if something happened, yeah, mm. it wasn't scary. Mm. Like if something got let off in the rave, rah, what was that? Rah, man, let off the team. Yeah, a scatter, a scatter for a minute. Security deal with it. Back yeah, again, skanking. Doom, yeah, doom, doom, yo, doom, doom, take. Doom. With yeah, so doing all, things, and I'm like, no, nah, no, nah, I don't, I can't have this picture in my house. So that was the vibe. So when Albert was like, um, on to me, and that he well, was just talking, and that as I, I said, look, this is what's going on. Mm. So we pitched that to the label, maybe Glenn, and that mm. Let them Sorry, Glenn. what we had, you know, what I mean, they might have done their research, mm. and it was there was some substance to it. Yeah. Do you know what? Can I just pause you there? Glenn told me himself, his brother, shout out his brother, Richard. Yeah. He, his brother, who was younger than, uh, younger than him, yeah. said to him, yo, there's a crew. Uh, Glenn's told me this before, and he said, they're killing it. They're from South. These men are just like, everyone's talking about them. So it was him that told Glenn, yo, you need to check out who these lot are and find out who's doing this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and, and like, kudos to, like, big up Glenn and Shabs. Mm -hmm. The, the uh, older Shabs, not me. Yeah. Good looking. Yeah, older. Every time I say Shabs, like, mm. You don't look like your brother Sanji and put out all that music. I'm like, yeah, man, on the job. Yeah, I'm the better looking one. Yeah, so Albert went to the label and they 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 gave us our work on paper, like it was 125 or 100 and something k for two singles. You know what I mean? And I was like, I didn't understand the process of it, so I was like, yeah, yeah, it's sick. Look at the deal. It's like five times better than. They have a deal, two singles with options. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So it was two singles, definite, mm. and the rest with options. So I signed it and it took long for me to get money back. Why though? Like, I didn't even understand how the money came. Oh, came the process in. of it like, came give us stages, in it. it came fax stages, us the like. invoice. It was fax them times. Right. Fax us the invoice. It was like um, checks. So mm. you get the check on the day. Yeah, yeah. And I players in the check. bank. Then the manager's got to do their deductions, mm. tax and all of that. Mm. Then it comes to you. So it's like, even when man them knew I was signed, yeah, certain man them didn't know whether mm. I, no. Even when I wasn't signed, certain mm. man them thought I was signed. Mm. So that's why. Why, I, why would they think that? I don't know, blood, because I was I kept stuff close to my chest in it. He's moving bougie, man. That's why. Yeah, I, I kept stuff close to my chest. The bus down was on my wrist. See what I'm trying to say? Just That's bought right. the M2. Mm. You know what I mean? So, mm. Carton, me and Carton, I think, I don't know what it was. I think at that time, because me and G-Man was doing the music side mm. and Carton was doing the raves, when we got signed, Carton might have thought at that time, look, yo, man's your brethren, blood. Like, mm. what's going on? How could mm. money get in the cup from this thing or whatever? You get me? Mm. Mm. But this was happening without even speaking to me. Mm. Maybe like his bro or people around him and that. So we had an argument in Ayanapa. Mm. First year of going to, or second year of going to Ayanapa and bringing mm. Irish Delato Sosa that out there. We had mm. an argument. I said, Bl I haven't seen on the dotted line yet. Like, what's up? Like, mm -hmm. you know what mm. I mean? So was mm. a, the division was happening at that time. Mm. You, know? you know what? Because that's a classic thing what happens within our community and cultures and that where people. Uh, get a whiff of something else and if it run that should be you or no no you should or, blah, 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 and it just causes that confusion at times you know what I mean yeah, I mean look most of my brethren knew how they were with me mm. you get me most of my brethren knew they were bad man with me most of my brethren knew what they done behind my back you get me mm. when I gave them properties to sleep under mm. you know what I mean mm. how they used to handle certain of my family members you mm. know what I'm saying and those mm. same brethren most of really thought to themselves, when Mega gets up, he's going to speak or handle man the same way. Mm. Like, to keep all the links close to his chest, he, he's going to want to be the big man, not want, want everybody to look the same, you know what I mean? Mm. Mm. Like, he's going to take all the food and not... Yes. 
share it properly. Mm. Share it. Mm. Mm. And I just the man then just needed to trust me a little bit more. Mm. I remember. I, I remember clearly when I was talking to Relentless about my own deal. I remember I bust the corner at the top of my mum's road and I see you. And you yeah. said to me like, yo, fam, they told me that you've been up there. And I said, yeah, man, I'm trying to get that. And he was like, nah, don't worry, fam. Let me have that word as well. Like, boom, 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 boom. So I remember that pattern, you know what I mean? So it was, it was always, always mad respect for that. What, mm. what was happening at that time is that we was pressuring the label One minute, Megs. I've kind of lost you just for that one split second. Megs, you know what? Let's come back.